showed up at my door. They, I mean, I knew. Um, they showed up at my door at nine o'clock in the morning. If I look at it as my husband's sacrifice was for nothing, it will completely destroy me. I have to look at it as there were people who were forever indebted to those Marines, those soldiers, for allowing them the resources that they allowed them for that short amount of time, even though it was very short. I think I'm stuck between two sides. I. I feel as if there was once a time where we were severely needed and I think we are also severely needed right now as these women and children are being forced into their homes and my husband gave the ultimate sacrifice along with 24 other men in his battalion and there were over a hundred injured and now we're all looking at this like almost what was the point mm -hmm. but at the time there was a point because they were able to give the woman and the children peace and they allowed them to go to school for even if it was a short period of time, they still were able to do the things that we as Americans have the freedoms of doing. And we were able to give them that even though it was short-lived. Um, October 30th, um, Part of it says we lost another friend from another platoon, but it's war. I'm trying to stay positive. I just keep telling myself I need to make it home to my beautiful wife and baby. I really don't know how to describe it to you, how it is around here. We get shot at almost every day. Lucky for us, they can't shoot very good. It's starting to get cold, but only at night. I wash my clothes in a bucket. We have this trailer that has hot water and toilets, so that's nice to take a shower. We have these things we call halves. It's a HESCO bunker that can't stop bullets and stuff. It's about 50 feet long and 25 feet wide. That's where we life. <laughs> we got some cots to sleep on. I made a little room with James out of sheets and ponchos. That's his best friend. I got some stuff to make shelves for my stuff. It's not too bad of a room, very small but nice. I'm laying in my rack writing this to you. Well, tomorrow is Halloween. <laughs> um, Trevino, that was one of their other friends, got a thing that is kind of like a pumpkin. So we carved it and made a jack-o'-lantern, make it seem like we, were never, we never left home. I think we might go trick-or-treating. I hope you are getting my letters. I've been writing a lot. I just want to lay in bed and look over at you and tell you how much I care and love you.